potential really is uh, a sort of the unknown, uh, something that you feel about yourself that you think you will be able to do or take on but you haven't done it before and therefore you don't know if you can, you don't know how to do it. Or potential sometimes is also what you actually don't even know about yourself, you don't feel you can do it and it just sort of stays dormant and hidden inside you because you've just never explored it and never had an opportunity to explore it, never had an opportunity to really uh, try out something so far and so unknown that forced you to recognize uh, you know, new things about yourselves and I think potential means a lot of all of this very hidden uh, sort of stuff. It's really definitely not the articulated uh, what you can do because what you can do is something that you're already implementing but it is what you cannot do at this moment given your current resources or given your current mindset and uh, therefore potential requires uh, sort of an opening, an unlocking, uh, a change from a dormant state saying if potential is something which is unknown and it is not something that is clearly defined in your own head uh, but you have the sense of it then recognizing potential obviously requires a change it requires a putting yourself into a scenario which you're not comfortable with it definitely requires changing the boundaries of comfort within yourself within your life within your career within a, you know within home environment such that it forces you to think differently about something and uh, I think a large part of potential opening very often happens in a very serendipitous manner you know I mean very I, I mean I, I know that I've looked back at my life and I said all right how did I know I could do that and I probably didn't but the situation was just such that I had to find a way to to overcome it and potential got discovered and then I said oh really now I know this and I can do it a lot better but it took another serendipitous event for that potential to unlock you know the next level of potential to get unlocked and I think sometimes that that's both the opportunity as well as a challenge you want that kind of serendipitous uh, you know coming together of, of a situation which opens your potential it would be fabulous if, if we could really put ourselves into change scenarios consciously and say alright let me try this because I've never done this before and I might really discover that I enjoy uh, anything from anything like gardening to uh, you know running a team to being able to do a fabulous new piece of business in a country like China where you may not understand the language so I mean how far can you go out of your current zone I think the, the further that you can think about that and the further that you can push yourself to get into those uncomfortable zones are great uh, inflection points for uh, that lead to a sort of a recognition of potential. You need to put yourself into a change environment. That's not always easy uh, because what that requires especially in professional life is that you know you are consciously choosing to go from one kind of a career say to another kind of a career. You're choosing to change your city maybe. You're choosing to change the division that you might be working in, for instance. All of these can be uncomfortable because you may be very successful in what you're doing right now and therefore changing that means that you'll have to relearn something completely, let go of what you're actually comfortable at to be able to discover that hidden potential that lies sort of within you. Um, and a lot of people don't, uh, you know, sort of feel comfortable doing that proactively. I think a big sort of a lever to get to that point very often is having uh, especially in a corporate scenario, in a professional scenario, is, uh, ha is having really strong, honest, true mentors in your life. Uh, I found that to be tremendously helpful. Uh, people who, as either my leaders or people who were supervising or people much senior, a few levels removed, who I was able to sort of, uh, you know, gain a mentoring uh, uh, sort of a relationship uh, with, have been, uh, have been fabulous triggers because they can sometimes see more of you than you can see of yourself and while you know consciously you might want to keep yourself in an area which is successful if you have an honest mentor somebody and somebody who is you know who you meet on a frequent basis and describe what you're doing and who has seen more business i found that they are able to uh, you know provoke you into thinking about something that you've not tried i think the second lever is is or has been for me is reading i mean i can't explain how you know important that is in the change journey in life and not reading things that are just relevant to the work that you do or you know home life or whatever really reading very very uh, different tangential pieces of work which force you to get into somebody else's life into uh, into somebody else's mind frame and think about things in a different way and that's fabulous because if you're the kind of person who's sensitive to that kind of a, of a stimulant 
you know, suddenly start realizing that there's a totally different way to live life. It's it's a great creativity booster. And when that happens, then you know, you have somebody to talk to as a mentor or bounce these ideas off. These dots just start to connect. And then if you're the adventurous kind, you'll probably go after it and build something new. I think an open mind, um, an open mind, being able to flow with situations as they come up. Uh, a deep desire for, for challenge. I really enjoy new challenges. Uh, after a point, I do tend to get a little uh, restive if I have not done something interesting and new or stimulated my mind you know, in, in, in connecting new dots. So I think I'm consciously looking for those kinds of things. So that has always helped lead me to new areas. Having a mixed group of friends who don't come from the business that you do. Uh, it's a strange trigger, but it is really, it's a great trigger because you just see so many different lifestyles and so many different mindsets and people and styles at work. I think that triggers a lot of uh, new ideas in my head about what I can do and businesses that I can run. One big area that has been a learning for me is to assess the size of the demon in your head uh, about what it is that you think you cannot do. Um, as women, I think we are more challenged with that than, uh, than maybe men are. This intrinsically because we are more emotional, we are, more, uh, we are far more connected and rooted to the home than, to, uh, than, you know, uh, than others you know, in that sense. Uh, the, the, the fact is that what happens then as a result is that you are weighing a lot of these different things when you are looking at your own personal leadership potential. And leadership potential, fortunately or unfortunately, is linked to career growth. As a person who has got leadership potential, I find that you can also choose at some point of time and say, I'm not going to you know, sort of work anymore, but I'm going to run my own business because it gives me flexibility or whatever. Leadership is about being able to take this group of people with you. And as women, I think we're just always, we have to manage our families. We are also managing other relationships, extended families and the business and the work. And that's intrinsic, that's just who we are. How do you take all of this along and still keep finding new things about yourself, right? That's the journey. And if that's the journey, then the key is being A, being open to doing all of this. B, not allowing all of this to become a big demon in your head about how am I going to manage. And if it does, then finding good friends and mentors at work and maybe personally as well, who can help you balance that can help you give advice on you know how big that unnecessary demon in your head is I think that's in my mind would be a very key aspect of leadership because we have that potential it is that we block it ourselves by our own mindsets and uh, are not willing to look beyond it um, I think that push is necessary sometimes